Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. If you happen to be new around here, my name is Trevor and this is Anna. We are the Delightful Travelers. Make sure to hit the subscribe button because we are now in the Dominican Republic. This video is going to be slightly different for us. We are at an all-inclusive hotel, something we don't normally do, but we decided since, you know, it's been a pandemic and that kind of thing, we spend a week just relaxing, chilling yeah. out, that kind of thing, and today we're going to show you around. We're also going to be sweating a lot. <laughs> we are staying on the famous Bavaro beach here in Punta Cana. In the last video, we actually took a walk up and down the beach, but today we're going to show you around our resort. It's called the Malia Punta Cana really really beautiful I'm gonna go through some of the pros some of the cons but before we do that don't forget to hit the subscribe button we are going to be in the Dominican Republic for quite a few months so there's lots of really exciting things coming up so as Anna just said we're here for a very long time in the country but it doesn't mean we're going to be just doing resorts we're going to be going to integrate into a community towards Porta Plata we're gonna be staying there for months and months and months so get ready for that right now we're in the lobby here of the Malia and I just love these resort lobbies it's been years since we've been to a resort and honestly we're not really resort people but take a look at this it's so grand and beautiful you can see all the water there's pillars these resorts really know how to make an impression a first impression when you get here I can say that much so throughout the course of the video you're probably gonna say to yourself wow it seems really really quiet there it is actually October so it's it's the middle of the week so it isn't high season by any means and of course it's still the pandemic so not as many people traveling as normal considering once November and the winter hits it's gonna get much busier also you might be wondering how much did we pay for this so we did pay out of pocket this is not sponsored and no not a collaboration which sometimes we do but this time we decided we wanted a week just to relax it has been a pandemic we haven't really done that much in the last year and a half we've been at home so we decided to just have a week where we could like relax and just really take it easy but we are doing this video it's a little bit a little bit of work we did pay about two hundred dollars per night that's per that's for both of us so it's really about a hundred dollars per person all inclusive which really isn't that bad when you think about it so you heard that right it's about a hundred dollars per person per night and it is an all-inclusive if you happen to not know what an all-inclusive is it's basically a giant resort hotel usually on a beach that includes everything I mean your meals are covered all your alcohol yeah everything you really don't have to think about money which is the nice thing about yeah. all-inclusive it's like once you get checked in you don't have to think about that stuff yeah, nice. how you're gonna pay for things paying for dinner credit cards cash just forget about it as you can see though it is pretty quiet here as it we is. said There's not many people around. <laughs> i know this is the lobby and it's the middle of the day so Still. it would probably be quiet here anyway but yeah. yeah there's only a few people around i know here we'll take you guys up here and you can kind of see the bar area from afar not too bad i mean it's quite the luxurious spot yeah so this place gets a little bit busier uh in the evening we came here last night after dinner it was around 9 30 and there were lots of people here but in general it's pretty quiet so we're coming up on one of the uh, gorgeous pools here as you can see this one's right up in the lobby i believe it's kind of part of the spa there's a spa right next to this we haven't been i don't think we're going to be going because we've been spending a lot of time at these pools but if you take a look closely there's not a single person in one of these chairs but that's really because the main pool is down way 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 far away about a 10 minute walk uh, closer to the beach and of course we're going to show you that a little later if you happen to be wondering and you're hungry already like we normally are there are a few restaurants in this resort do you remember them all yeah, so up here in the lobby there is a evening it's mainly just evening, evening food. Places, so it's yeah. like there's a buffet but it so far it hasn't been open very often no. but maybe <laughs> during high season it would be open all the time there's also vietnamese and italian yeah. and then down by the water there is there's like a by the beach there's kind of a beach bar yes. so Place, the place is called Ramba. You'll see that. We'll show you for sure. But it's kind of like a buffet. It's where you have your breakfast. There's also like an exclusive, like another level called the level, which has, I think, a restaurant as well. Yes, but we don't have access to that. So no, we we'll don't. Just tell you about it. <laughs> Maybe we'll try to sneak a peek. But if we had access, we would show you. Then there's a whole other side of the resort, which is like the family side. And there's a few restaurants over there. I think there's Spanish, Mexican, of course, there's buffets. So there's quite a bit here. There is. So when you do stay on the uh, adults only side, you have access to the whole, whole thing. thing. So you have the family side. But of of course the families don't have access to the adults only time. So this here is the property map. Probably gives you somewhat of an idea of how massive this resort is. <laughs> it's so big. We're up here at the moment. Yeah. The beach and the pool are way down there in that whole area. 
is the family side of the resort. There are actually trolleys that take you back and forth because mm -hmm. it's about a 10 minute walk, but I think right now we might just take the walk because there's some cool stuff along the way. Yeah, it's very hot, so we're being brave to take this yes. walk. I know it's sunny today, which <laughs> It, being October, it's still rainy season, but I think we so far today have lucked out, sort of lucked out with, with the weather, right. except that we're going to sweat a All lot. Right. You ready to sweat more then? I guess so. <laughs> well, we found some uh, little ducks. Yeah, I, when I said there's fun stuff along the way, I actually didn't know that there were ducks. This was a, a fun little surprise. Look at this guy's, he's got, uh, he's got like a little uh, hairdo on. I don't know if I can get that close and let's see. I'm not gonna hurt you, I swear. As you can see, the grounds here are absolutely beautiful. You can see lots of palm trees. There are ponds, fountains. You can see the rooms in the background as well. It's very looked after at this resort. Well, Anna found something here. You look like you have a nice swing. Wait a second, look behind you. What's behind me? Go look. Oh. Yeah, so there are trains here that take you around, as you can see. <laughs> Everyone's friendly here saying hi, but I like this, this swing. Is yeah, there's a beautiful tree here. Yeah. I don't know what kind of tree it is. It's almost yeah, it's very tropical looking, <laughs> and then they have uh, this fun swing. Yeah, look, I'll back up so you guys can see the size. I mean, there's the tree. So yeah, this is pretty neat. So besides this train next to me, and of course your feet, there is another way to get around the resort here. There are bicycles. We haven't seen a single person on one yet, but again, it's not at full capacity, I think. The resort's hovering around 40 or 50 percent, at least in the middle of the week. But this resort, Malia, is so big, these would come in handy. But if you do that, be prepared to be really warm and sweat just as much as I am right now. All right, we're getting close to where all the pools are at in this resort. Just look at the grounds, though. How beautiful. Yeah, this is, one of, I think, one of my favorite spots when we're walking. It's probably a really good place to have a room. It's not where our room is, but there's all these, like, hammocks and things. It looks super mm. relaxing. It's really quiet right here, too. Yeah, and you could have a snooze in one of those hammocks. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. That's you for sure. That's me. <laughs> so welcome to the pool area. I know if you clicked on this video, a lot of you have been waiting to see this. So we have been spending a lot of time here. This pool is spec. Spectacular. Now the noise you hear in the background is a little bit of construction. Right now, honestly, this pool is maybe the quietest it's been. The only thing I don't like about it is during the day, it's very clubby. They get a DJ in here and there's all those, you know, very, very like trap music and those sounds, you know, like, eh, eh, eh. like anyway, it doesn't feel like it fits the setting because it's adults only and a lot of people want to chill. But at the same time, right now it's really quiet and it's very relaxing. If the pool is too loud for you, if you're going to stay here, you can go to the beach. So I notice a lot of people hang out on the beach because you can't hear the music there. So one thing we're not really liking about the pool, at least at the moment, is the layout. Because of that construction over there, it actually cuts you off from the washrooms and from the pool bar. Because the right now they have the swim-up bar closed, so you have to walk all the way around. Yeah. It's a pretty long walk to actually get to the washrooms or to get a drink. It's <laughs> it is. really inconvenient. And then the other side of the pool is the level. And we'll talk about that a little bit more later on. Yeah, I think you guys can see maybe way down there. The beach, don't worry, we're taking you down there because it's one of the best beaches in the world. It's Punta Cana, Bavero, gotta love that beach, right? Yeah. So welcome to our room. What we booked when we did our hotel booking was a deluxe room. And when we checked in, they told us they were upgrading us to a level room, but without level access. However, when I actually went and looked back on their website, this looks like a regular deluxe room to me, but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We're not sure. <laughs> Maybe if you stayed here, you can let us know. But anyway, we have a great big king size bed. Mm -hmm. Super comfortable, I have to say that. It's super comfortable. I have really great sleeps here. Got a whole wall of like um, mirrors. mirrors over here. We have a mini bar. Mini bar. Which That's stocked every day. It is stocked every day. Sometimes you have to do a little bit of... <laughs> coaxing, I guess, or Asking request <laughs> a lot of times to get stuff. Yeah. But it does, it's supposed to be stocked every day. And you get water, beer, we've been asking for soda water, they put pop in there as well. I'm not sure if you can get like wine or anything like that in there. We've just been getting that at the, the regular bars. And there's a, another big side of the room over here. So there's like a sofa area on this side. And then like, I guess this could be maybe a dining area, but mm -hmm. we're using it as a desk. Yeah, it's an editing station now. Out here you can see, yeah, there's a couple chairs. 
we have um, not really a great view. We're kind of looking at the restaurant, <laughs> which so, is annoying. To be honest, we've walked around this resort now for a few days. I'm pretty sure they gave us the worst possible yeah. view that there is in the entire resort. So the bathroom situation, I would say, is just okay. There's nothing special about it. I mean, at least there's a walk-in shower, but it's just an average bathroom. You can probably see all the towels hanging up, so believe it or not, there's not a single hook in there. It's just a small detail, but when you don't have hooks, it just ends up becoming a mess of towels in the bathroom. All right, it's time to get our beach bag ready here. We're gonna head to the beach, finally give you guys a glimpse of it, and that's not the only thing we're gonna do. We're gonna get this drone up in the air as well. Quite the beach, huh? This is probably one of my favorite things about being at the resort. I think we spent most of our time down here at this beach, and who can blame us? Like, look at that view. <laughs> oh, the water, that water. is just, it's just glorious. It's amazing. Also, if you're wondering about the water temperature, it's quite nice. This place is incredible. If you happen to be wondering how long it is, I don't know in kilometers, but it's extremely long. In our last video, we actually walked the beach and we showed well, all you guys what it's like. So if you want to watch that video, make sure to do so. But we're gonna go have to go into that water later. It's just stunning. Honestly, I still can't believe the colors I'm looking at here. It's it's crazy. How's it going over here? <laughs> this is the life. It's quite cozy, huh? It's you look quite, quite nice. comfy. And it's also, can I just say, I know it's October and we said it's not that busy here, but it's like early afternoon and we managed to get front front row I know. seats here <laughs> at the beach. <laughs> the best seats, look, just for proof. Look at this. I mean, yeah, it's hard to beat that right there. It's time to hydrate here, but I know one thing you're probably wondering about if you're watching this video. What's the whole COVID situation like, right? So, first of all, we're from Eastern Canada, Nova Scotia specifically, and our part of Canada handled COVID really well, but we were very conservative with things. We locked down quickly, we had low numbers. Here, we actually feel quite safe. So, the way it kind of works is all the employees wear masks, there is social distancing, the restaurants are not at full capacity, but there are buffets. So when you go to a buffet, you have to have a mask on, of course, uh, while you're at the different stations, and then there are gloves as well. So that's one really nice thing to see. Now, there are some instances where you're going to get into, uh, for example, we were on that train you saw earlier in the video coming back from a restaurant a few nights ago, and it was packed with people with no masks. <laughs> so we had our masks on, and we're vaccinated as well. So just be aware of that. You're gonna come across situations here and there that could happen, but in general, we feel very safe. They're handling COVID really well down here in the Dominican. So after the beach, we hopped on the train to make our way back to the lobby bar. I ended up getting a gin and tonic and Anna went for a mojito. We had dinner reservations at the Italian restaurant. To start, we had a really yummy soup and a caprese salad, which was actually delicious. And we each had a pizza for dinner. All right, it is the next day. We got back from dinner last night. We didn't feel like finishing the video there. We thought we'd just pick it up, well, today. Uh, we've been taking notes the whole time while we were here on Anna's phone about pros and cons of this resort. Remember, it's about $99 per person a night. At it's an in October, so you're not probably not going to get that rate in the middle of probably high not. season, but just you know, put some perspective on what we paid and what you could potentially pay. Um, so maybe we'll start with the good stuff, go through the pros of what we like about yeah, let's do the that. hotel. Okay, so. A, it's gorgeous. I think you it probably is. figured that out by now, but it's a beautiful, really, really beautiful property. Yeah, oh, I mean, hands down, it's one of the nicer ones we stayed at. Just walking around, besides the gorgeous beach and pool, just walking around the grounds, they're always working on it, basically, and keeping it well-groomed. Mm -hmm. 
I like it. Yeah. And the second pro, you just mentioned it, is that beach. Yeah, the beach. It's beautiful. That beach is hard to beat. All right, second, the food. It's really, I wouldn't say it's the best food we've ever had. Yeah. <laughs> it's not amazing, but it's all right. And we've been to, you know, we don't often do all-inclusive, but we've done, throughout the, since we've been together for like 15 years, we've probably done- A few. Four, five, six of them. Yeah. I'd say the food is somewhere in the middle. Yeah, so this really is subjective and it comes down to how you are with food. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of foodies and we like delicious food. Mm -hmm. uh, we knew coming here that in the Dominican, the food is just not as good in our opinion. In as, all inclusives. In all inclusives, uh, as like Jamaica and things like like just other countries. Whereas like, I know a lot of people think Cuba probably has the worst food in terms of, we're talking all-inclusive here, all not, not yeah. Cuban food, but all-inclusive. Cuba's usually at the bottom, Dominican, and then it goes up from there. Yeah, so basically mm -hmm. the food here is better than we thought. Mm -hmm. Is it phenomenal? No. Is it above average? Yes. Yeah. But we did do one all-inclusive about five or six years ago here in the Dominican, and the food was not good. Was so terrible. we had very, very low, <laughs> we came in here with low expectations. Yeah. All right, up next, the concierge team. Honestly, we probably wouldn't have enjoyed our stay without them. They've been a no, big help. Awesome. So basically when you check in, you're assigned a concierge there. So you can find them down at the Rumba Beach Bar, which is where you have your breakfast and your lunch. Yeah. Um, but they have a desk set up there and they're really, really helpful. They do all your dinner reservations. Uh, they contact you if you have WhatsApp, good to download before you come. They'll contact you. You can message them for anything you need, really. They're just really friendly. For instance, right now our internet is dropping in the room. That's the first time it's happened in our uh, week here, but I've been messaging them and they're getting back to me. So they're really responsive. And they I are. We've had some other them. service problems with other things, like just getting our mini bar restocked and that mm -hmm. kind of thing. One day, uh, we actually told the concierge that we weren't getting our mini bar restocked and he actually came and did it himself. <laughs> he did it himself. <laughs> so big pro, the yeah. concierge team. All right, I think that's my main things for my pros. Did you have any, any more things to add? Or? I don't think so. Okay. Let's jump into the cons. The cons, all right. The pool is beautiful, but Ugh. it's so loud, it's not relaxing. No. They, in the morning, it's usually okay, but by the time the afternoon comes, it's just like they turn on the bass, it's loud, it's like everyone, it's like they think everyone's gonna dance, and it, there are some people that do, the, but. The music is in incredibly loud. It's not just a little bit loud, it's, it's if Anne is here and I'm here, you almost have to yell at each other sometimes yeah. to talk. So it's not it, relaxing. Not only that, so that's the, a speaker coming from the pool bar usually sometimes there's a DJ and then the music ends up being like competing music and then even sometimes on the beach they're doing like a like a workout class outside and you can hear that music so it's just pure chaos now it's like Anna said it's not like that every moment of the day but for a good portion of it it can be yeah and if you're like us and you really just want to come somewhere to read a book and really really chill out <laughs> and not party Probably not the resort for Don't you. hang out at the pool if that's, yeah. that's the plan. <laughs> all right, next up, the level. Oh, the level. Okay, so first of all, the level is the exclusive part of the resort here. So of course, they'll try to upsell you on that. They didn't to... actually try to upsell you. They tried to upsell you before you walk. I was surprised. Oh, yeah. I actually expected them to try to upsell us throughout the course of our stay, and no one has. Yeah. And it, but the weird thing about it is it's maybe it's where they put our room. Like, we are situated on the other side of the level, so we have to walk through it anytime All the time. we have to go anywhere. It's The level is kind of right in the middle where the pool is, but it's if you're not, if you don't have access to it, it's in the way of everything. It's just awkward. <laughs> it's really awkward, and I don't know if that's designed intentionally. It makes me think it is, and they want you to walk through it and see it. That's what I, we thought at the beginning. So <laughs> that's where I say I expected people to try to be like, you should upgrade to the level. You yeah. should upgrade, but no one's tried to do that. So it's just yeah. very weird. It's very weird, and honestly, if you're if you're not if you're coming here not don't you don't have access to the level, it can be frustrating. Right. So I find that's a big con. And I would say if you do have access to the level and you're paying extra to have it, I would find that loud music really annoying because mm, the right level back. pool is connected to the main pool. It's like one big pool and then half of it's the <laughs> level and half of it's not. So again, if you're wanting higher service and you're paying more and all the afternoon is just boom, 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 mm -hmm. it would get really annoying. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about the service. So in general, we did say the concierge team's really good, but in general, I would say the service is eh. Yeah, I mean, it's what to expect. I, I kind of expected this coming to a resort mm -hmm. here. Um, to give you an example, if I walk up to, let's say, a bar to get just even a beer, not a cocktail, I could end up standing there for about 
three to five minutes, even if I'm the only person at the bar, uh, the, the staff will be end up just kind of talking to each other, joking around. They'll see me, acknowledge me, but they won't take my order right away. And that's fine sometimes. I mean, we're in the Caribbean, everything's a little slower here, we get it. But once you're here for a week and you're on day six and it keeps happening over and over and over, you're just like, what, why? We know each other at this point. We know why I'm here. Why is it taking so long? Yeah, and since we're talking about bars, that leads me to my next con, which is the layout of the resort. It's mm. really, really awkward. If anything I could say about this whole stay is that it felt awkward all the time. <laughs> yeah. It's like you're on the beach and you need to go get a drink. It's like a huge it's the walk longest to get week. there. You need to go to the bathroom. It's in the other direction. You have to walk around. It's like. Basically, when you have to get up from your chair, it's just annoying. You're yeah. Like, oh, God, I have and, and a 10 minute walk to get Before you say, there. pour us and have to get up from our chair at a resort, I think anyone would find this. It, it, almost anywhere where you sit down, if you go to, to lounge, and that's why you're here, it is a good five minute walk to go get a drink and then come back. And it's all because of how the pool is. There's no shortcut across. Uh, the level gets in the way. And then the bathrooms are on kind of every corner of the resort. And as you can see from the first of the video, the resort is massive. So it really does take a long time to get yourself around and maneuver. <laughs> yeah. So that leads me to the next thing, which is, is the resort too big? It almost feels like it is a little bit too big. If mm -hmm. you want something a little bit smaller and like, feels a little more, more boutique, boutique yeah. this is not it. Yeah, I, I would say it's too big. One, one another con is the restaurants. All the restaurants are way up by the lobby, which is about a 10 to 15 minute walk away. You can take the train. So every time you want to go eat, besides the buffet in the day, you have to go up there and then you have to get yourself back. So again, you can take the train, but if you want to be careful with COVID and you don't want to get on the train, you can walk, but just keep that in mind. So again, it goes back to, I want to go eat, and you're like, all oh, right, it's all the way up or there. Or vice versa, there's that beautiful pool up by the spa, which oh, I'm no. assuming you can use during, during the day. Nobody does. That was the pool at the first of the video. Very first of the video. It's a gorgeous pool. I'm sure it's very quiet because no it's by it. the spa. But the thing is, if you go up there during the day, the only place to eat during the day is down at the beach. So the then you're far, either way, you're like far away from food. So you can see there's <laughs> the resort's beautiful, but I feel like a lot of it, it just hasn't been really thought through. Mm -hmm. uh, again. Clearly resorts aren't our thing. This is the first time we've done this in a, in a very long time. We just wanted to treat ourselves. There's lots of things we like, but we just noticed lots of things we don't. Yeah, and there's just one more thing. It's just the rooms. I have no issues with the room whatsoever, mm -hmm. other than not being able to hang up my towels. But I think it's probably relatively average for an all-inclusive room. Average, and we've yeah. actually had conversations with some people that are here that do all-inclusive all the time, and they said they're very not impressed with the rooms. But yeah, so keep that in mind. I mean, again, you saw a quick little tour. It's good, I'd say it's mm -hmm. average, yeah. uh, but I think for, for what people pay in normal times for this yeah. resort, I would expect the room to be a little bit nicer. Mm -hmm. And again, I don't want to come off as pretentious or entitled or that, that kind of thing. We just want, you know, people are coming here to spend very good money. You have a very limited vacation. I totally realize that. Mm -hmm. And you want to have a really nice time. So we just yeah. wanted to go through what we like about here, what we don't like about it. Yeah. And I mean, if we're thinking this, I mm -hmm. imagine other people are as well. So we hope you find it helpful. Mm -hmm. If you're watching and you're on the fence about coming to stay here and you like big resorts, absolutely come here. If You'll... you like party resorts too, you like it. <laughs> you will. <laughs> but if you are you want to chill on the beach, relax, and have like a boutique kind of feel, don't come here. Mm -hmm. It's not that kind of place at yeah. all, I would say. Yeah, agreed. But anyway, that's going to do it for today's video. We hope you like the tour around the resort. We had a lot of fun showing it to you guys. If you got this far in the video, it probably means you like it. Make sure to hit subscribe, click the like button, leave us a comment, let us know what you think. We have a lot more videos on the Dominican Republic coming up. We're here for a bit like months and months and months and they're not all going to be resort videos. No, there probably won't be very many resort videos. <laughs> not at all. But yeah. Next up, we're going to be going to an apartment. We'll probably do, maybe do a video on that yeah, or we'll something in you. Punta Cana. Yeah, yeah that'd be fun. I think a lot of people don't even know there's life outside the resorts. Yeah, here, if so. you're watching this because you're interested in all-inclusive, you might not even realize that you can go stay in an apartment or really nice condo. Somewhere. With really nice pools. Yeah. We'll definitely show you at some <laughs> point. Yeah. All right, guys, that's it. From Punta Cana, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon. Oh,